Hi Copic in the craft room, Michelle Houghton here, sporting my new color for the season. I usually switch in the fall, as some of my friends in Anaheim know. When I show up there, I have my new color, but I am showcasing it here so you guys all know in advance. I have switched from my violets into my blue greens, and <laughs> there you go. Um, I haven't said hi in a long time, but I had a couple people ask about marker storage recently and so I wanted to run through and this is going to be as odd as it gets guys and I apologize that for that in advance this video is going to be very kind of segmented so you're going to see some pieces here in Alaska where I have part of my studio and you're going to see some pieces as I shift back into Des Moines as I'm forming my studio there but um because I'll be there for the school year but neither one of them are in any shape to be showing you they are all in pieces and boxes and unpacking and packed and so it's a mess but I'm going to talk you through some of the storage things and some a new product that came out recently that is really cool and kind of fun so bear with me on that you're going to see these segments I'll kind of transition through all of them but the lighting's going to be funny the sound will probably pop in and out a little bit um, but this is about storing your Copic markers and one of the biggest things that I learned recently, and this is just as of this past year, we have we had been told originally by Copic and then by the U.S. distributor that it really didn't matter which way you stored your Copics, whether it was horizontal or vertical. They can be stored either way, but if you are significantly having problems with the blobbing, with the um, dripping of the ink, storing them horizontally can help that issue. Um, so if you're a person who actually stores them vertically all the time and then you see that happening, that is something you could look at changing. Um, they, When I um, visited with some of the Copic representatives from Japan um, this past year, they actually recommend horizontal, at least right now. Um, and I think that's in response to seeing some of the issues with the blobbing and getting that question a lot. So that's a little bit of a change. I still... Um, do both with mine. So if mine are traveling, most of the time they're vertical. If they're sitting at my desk, most of the time they're horizontal. But you see mine in both positions all the time. Okay, so I'm going to run you through some of the storage solutions that I found along the way. And it, again, this is going to look a little weird and sound a little funny. So bear with me on that. Um, but here you go. Here are a bunch of different ways to store your markers. So many of you are going to recognize this first item. This is an older Copic wallet. It has the sleeves inside for the markers. You can fit 72 in the larger size. They have smaller ones that hold um, the 36. They Velcro shut. They have a shoulder strap. They have a small handle. These are great. And they have a newer version. It's not, I don't like it quite as much. The sleeves inside are basically these little elastic loops. And so a um, little harder to get the markers in and out. Two things that I found early on in my Copic coloring adventure were um, 31 bags. So if you have heard of the company, 31 bags, they make these fun little carrying bags. This particular, this pink one is a 12 by 12 and it fits three wallets, 72 wallets, about as perfect as can be. They slide all the way in. And what I loved about this option as my marker collection got a little bigger is I could leave them in here. And then if I opened them, they actually could sit in here open and I had complete access to all of my markers as I had that many markers. What I was doing before that was a smaller 31 bag. So this is the next size down. Sorry for the horrific filming here, guys. I've got one hand on the camera and one on the bag. So this guy is kind of a standard size original bag. And let me show you, it's gonna fit two of those. So as you can see, there are two bags inside. Again, same deal, I can open those flaps and leave them open. And this guy, because it's so snug, I could even set it on my desk and have it sitting facing me with those lids open. And so literally when I started, I mean, that's what, 144 markers in there. I could take this bag and I never took them out. 
I just left them in there. I could open them, set them on my desk, close them up, travel with them. They literally lived in this little bag and it was perfect. I loved it. Obviously, because of teaching and doing all the other stuff, my um, collection has grown significantly. So most of you have seen photos of this, but I'll show you a quick peek at what now sits on my desk. So most of you have seen this large wood piece. It sits either up on my desk or beside my desk. And each of these little compartments holds a color family. So the first like four rows are usually full of markers. And then I've got four more rows and guess what? That fits the refills. Now the refills, I will say, I probably need one more row to really accomplish all of that, but I get like 99.9% .9 of all of it in there. So, and I, I could readjust how I'm doing the markers and truly fit it all in. Cause I usually have like a little stack of inks in the one of the bottom ones and a couple, like one stack of just little sketch pins in one of them. So this is of course the state of this particular work area at the moment. Yeah, it's not real efficient, but it's here. And I've been working this summer out of this space. And my markers, however, are packed because they are shifting locations. So I'm gonna show you kind of the next thing that I'm doing with them. I think a lot of you have also seen this particular black bag. This is one that's been out from Copic for a while. Zips up nice and tight. It came with some big wide open baskets that were a little too short and a little cumbersome. So I got rid of those. And most of you as of late have seen me follow, run around with my markers in these little denim bags. I bought these on Etsy and they just fold over and my little markers are inside. When I'm using them at a location, I can open them up, fold them down and they're just all sitting there. But I managed to get my hands on one of the fun new products out there. These little bags. And these are super, super cool. Here's a closed up one. There's one over here. You can kind of see up and into that. Um, and I've got, I did get 12 of them. It fits all of my markers. There's a reason some of these are in here and I'll explain that in just a second, but I wanna show you how these lovely doodads work. So hold on one more second and we'll finish up this piece. All right, so we've got these little goodie bags. So these were um, a collaboration. All of the little words are the 10 hints that Kathy Rakusen gives about coloring. And so she contributed in that aspect and then I want to say, um, so the daily marker, and she's down here running around the bottom. And then I'm going to say the company wrong, so I'm going to look at it before I tell you who has actually put these out there. Um, but they're so, so stinking cute. So the beauty of these guys is when you unzip them, the top slides down, <laughs> and your marker's pop out. The other thing that they did that's a cute add-on that they don't tell you about so shh, 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 is they send you little zipper tags that coordinate with whatever color family you have hiding inside. So when you have 12 of these bad boys and they all look the same, um, you can mark them so you know what you're getting yourself into. Now, my challenge has been that I have some sets pulled out um, that are my Copic College sets that I encourage people to bring with them or that I bring to them for my Copic College weekends. And so I have these groups of markers that are pulled out of their normal color family units. And so I have, um, I have the one that's still sitting, one little group still sitting in denim because I couldn't get all of my markers in 12 bags, but I have tried it and they are absolutely accurate. You can get 30 sketch markers in one of these bags and I wouldn't stuff more. You're going to have a really tough time getting the marker out. So 30 is really where you're at for sketch markers for sketch Copics. Um, but that'll give you a great knowledge about how many of those do I really want to get? Is it worth it? I like them because they sit, they're going to sit 
up right on the table on my desk without any help, whether the bag is actually completely full or not. I love the aspect that when I zip it open, it literally just kind of slides down and there's my marker and it just holds there. Very little work on my behalf. Pull it back up, zip them in, they're ready to go. So it is a neat product. I've been kind of watching these on Instagram and the fact that someone took it to the next step and um, made this specifically for markers and crafty markers is awesome. Um, all right, so Pear Blossom Press. That's where these guys are coming from. And you can buy them in a single, in sets of three, in sets of six, and a set of 12. So super amazing new product, very fun. I am not getting paid. I purchased these all myself. <laughs> Um, because I do think it's a neat way. I, I love my little denim bags that I've been using for quite a while. I like these even better. I, I like the fact that they're going to stand. And that's one of the big, big things to me. And the fact that they zip closed and that's great. The other one that I forgot I had, this is a similar product actually. And this is a Copic one. This is a little, um, canister one or cylinder one. Originally, this had a little netting in it that's divided the space into three sections, but um, this is a pretty cool little Copic bag as well, and this is another version. I could have done a bunch of these in that black bag. Um, I just like that black bag because it fits all of my markers if I'm willing to put them in compartments um, versus having them all lined up perfectly. You have to be willing to kind of have that open stash versus and big group of markers versus the individual getting them lined up in numerical order. So again, it's not going to fit everybody, but that's why I want to show you what I have back in Des Moines because I have another system that I think is also brilliantly done um, that I use for um, my refills, but you can also buy it for your markers in several different variations. So I want to show you that too before I sign off and you guys can take that information and run with it. All right, everybody, hopefully you're not seasick from my horrific videotaping and shifting. We have shifted all the way to Iowa, and this is my extremely temporary <laughs> workstation in Iowa. So no neat and tidy, pretty looking spaces for me right now, but it is functioning. So you're going to see I have my pear blossom little bags now all tucked into one of those rolling carts. They fit nice and neat and tidy all in top. So these are kind of rolling to my side and tucked over to the side of my table. But they all fit in there and it's super easy. And now if I need them back up in Alaska, I can just tuck them back into their black bag and they are ready to go. The other system, though, that I wanted to show you and make sure you guys saw um, before I cut this off was this other way to organize your Copic markers, but also materials. So this is um, a box that you can buy from uh, any most crafting stores, but the neat part is what is inside. So let me move that. And it is this wood frame. You'll see these people will make these on their own out of some of the screening like plastic mesh that you is for lighting systems that they buy at a hardware store. This one is actually wood. So the part that I'm talking about is the frame and there's an upper level and then you can kind of see down in between there's a lower level that holds each of those marker refills in place and you're looking at this going what in the world do you need all of those for so i actually do refills for people when they need them so i literally have every single color and you'll see multiples of ones that i use more of so um, i have two of these boxes they hold all of the refills and that way i could travel with them if i needed to um, they have not traveled in a while obviously so um, normally the holes are completely full in this and my second box because I do have literally every single color. So, um, but this wood system 
there's a person on Etsy who builds these and there's actually a few of them now. So I'm not necessarily going to, I would just encourage you to look up Copic storage or marker storage on Etsy. This particular set came with the box and I could have done markers or I could do refills. It allowed me to pick the whole size. They will also make them for spinning back around those little carts. So they have a piece that fits into those carts perfectly. I know a lot of people are not comfortable with that big open bag system like I am using with those color families and they would prefer to have um, each marker lined up in a slot more like this. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, I see people travel with these like this all the time one of the other ones was um, the Copic suitcase that is literally kind of a hard plastic suitcase. Um, Copic came out with that one. There was no insert in it. You were supposed to use the plastic boxes that you can buy for Copic, and that does work. It fits it nice and snug, but you can also get an insert like this one that fits inside of there, and then your markers can all line up nice and neat and tidy, however you want to organize them, whether it's right in their nice little rows of color families um, or if you wanted to do it something more like Sandy Alnock's hex chart, I've seen it done that way as well where they're doing colors that blend well together sitting close together. Anyway, I think that is the majority of what I know and you guys got a ton of information. I hope it was helpful. If nothing else, you got to see my crazy life right now and hear kind of my crazy ins and out right now. So have a happy, colorful week. Come back next week for more coloring. I'm just getting back into the swing of things and I will get Copic in the craft room kind of up and cranking. There's going to be some news out from my web, my blog, scrapweaver.com this next week. So if you have not subscribed to that newsletter, please do that if you're interested in kind of what I'm doing, live teaching or online stuff, um, news coming out here in the next couple weeks of what I'm trying to do for the near future for classes and teaching. All right, everybody, have a good one. If you've got questions, please put those in the comments below, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great week, everybody.